guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 or 11 products that make me look flawless. To share my favorite top products that I pick, that I choose over and over again. Some are old, some are new, but these ones are true, right and true products that I love and I reach for when I wanna look extremely flawless and pretty. This video was inspired by Patty Alonso. She's also here in YouTube. I watched her video and as soon as I watched it, I knew I had to recreate. I'm gonna leave her um, information and everything in my description description box her video her products are top-notch a very very pretty look that she ended up at achieving with these 10 products. I think she actually picked nine, and I don't know why I decided to pick 11, but here we are. I'm gonna be showing you products that I love, that I reach for time and time and time, every time I wanna look and feel flawless. So if that sounds fun, and this is the first time here, my name is Gigi, thanks so much for clicking on my channel. I hope you stay subscribed for more, click that red button below, and also come over to my Instagram, because over there we do tons of fun things. I keep you posted on makeup self, updates how I like how I don't like a product and we get to chat a little bit more so it is tons of fun go follow me there and without further ado let's start hey friends so let's begin and I'm going to be showing you 10 products that make me feel flawless so we're gonna start off with my primer this one is by YSL any primer is going to do pretty much you know any primer that's gonna take care of uh, your concerns are extremely personal. They do, you know, they do tailored your specific needs and wants. Uh, for me, this primer just going to stand the wear of my makeup. It's going to fill any pores and just texture that I would have on my face. And I don't know, it just feels really nice on your skin, which I love. Um, next product that I I just love, love, love for the longest time is this one by Charlotte. This one is in the shade 10, which both my foundation and this guy is going to be a little bit um, darker than usual because I don't know I never got around to buying this one in the medium shade this is her Hollywood flawless flawless filter and I don't like to put it on my nose I would just put it on the top of my my cheekbones to just give some luminosity and I do a little bit on my forehead and I'll leave it like this and then I go back and I do more and for her foundation and this is one that probably I don't mention enough this one is by her as well it is her flawless foundation and I have this shade AW this foundation is perfect for me during um, summertime so that's why I tend to forget that I have it actually it looks not too bad anyways this is extremely I think I put too much I'm gonna remove a little bit with um, just a towel that I have here because you don't need a lot of this foundation less is more and this foundation just makes you look true just poreless just perfect just like a doll pretty much this foundation tends to be a little bit heavy for some people but i think that as long as you don't use a ton of it like i was just going to do now that i removed this is the perfect coverage of that it covers every single thing on your face every single sin everything <laughs> it just deletes them and um to be flawless i need to cover my dark circle so I do correct with um, I've been using this Bobbi Brown one a lot more than Charlotte's I, I used to use hers um, her magic magic banish corrector but this one is a little bit darker which I really like and then I like to use something like this concealer by Jue when I need a lot of coverage so this is your extremely full coverage kind of concealer this is your glam concealer I love my pad concealer but this one I use when I need just to be extremely glam so
look at that this concealer just truly deletes everything it is so so beautiful and then to set all over my face i do love my cogendo natural um, lighting setting powder and this is a holy grail for a while now this has a little bit of um you can see beige color but it doesn't um it doesn't transfer it doesn't change the color of your foundation it just really sets everything it's so pretty and I like to do just the light dusting like this everywhere so we're already on to six products wow that was a lot but let's count concealer together so we're at five now my bronzer I do love this one by Charlotte it is her airbrush bronzer I have the shade medium and um, yeah this bronzer makes me look flawless I feel like because it does have that um, that formula of her setting powder her regular setting powder when you bring it over to your cheeks I feel like it does blur if you have any texture going on and I feel like I can go to town with this one and it never looks too much you get that this color is also really perfect for me at the moment medium I purchased 10 but I already had to put it back into the box because it was just too much it was too dark and with this huge huge um, brush by Sephora it is her 72 brush I love it it's just big but at the same time it gets you know very precise oh I forgot my cream contour I usually like to cream contour when I do when I feel extremely flawless I don't know why Ugh, I didn't have this out but it's okay this one by Tone 4 is so forgiving that even if I already set with um, that bronzer, it's going to, you know, just melt right in. This one is Tone 4 Shade and Illuminate in the shade Intensity 1. I love this um, this one as I said it's just extremely forgiven even if you already you know set everywhere <laughs> you can still go on top and it's going to be good next up our glass these powders truly truly make me feel flawless I love mixing the two top ones and just putting this underneath my eyes for some brightening and then um, I like to buff with this one after I've placed my blush and I would do like my T-zone I find that these powders they just never look liked too much and then I am going to be using this blush in here which is um, in the shade Mood Exposure I love this shade though. It is a very cool tone and pretty for full time. And I do feel like these powders are um, just blurring on your skin. On my complexion, I do have to build up this shade. It doesn't show up right away, but you can see that it looks extremely natural and just filtery and pretty. I love, I love this palette. I've talked about this a hundred times. So this, look at that glow. It gives you a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful glow. And I've lost count at this point, you guys. I apologize. I think we're at seven or eight. Hmm. It's just a full face of flawless products, right? Charlotte. You could totally use this one here. The highlighter here is really pretty, but for some reason I like Charlotte's on a dual fiber brush like this. I just feel like it looks extremely beautiful and natural. So this 
this highlighter doesn't emphasize any texture just looks very pretty and uh, products that always make me look and feel extremely flawless are just complexion products the eyes i don't really you know worry too much about i will just do a wash of color you're gonna see that in a minute one color and i'm good to go but my girl line meteorites are something that i feel like it brings everything um it brings everything together once my makeup is done i feel like it blurs everything and again it's just perfect to do that buffing technique so you can take it just all over your face it, i don't feel like it's and it's too much and um yeah just makes you look very poreless and filtery look at that it just brings everything together it melts highlighter blush and bronzer all in one any finishing powder would do but i feel like these metalized are just special for that uh, just at the end of your makeup just buff everything and you're good to go so i really love um these guys for my eyes as i mentioned i i don't really mind any palette is going to do today i want to use this one by charlotte i am going to be doing something really simple probably just brown all over my lid um, I'm gonna use this light brown in the happy glow section and I'm just gonna do a wash of this color with this big Sonia brush And this warm tone is just so pretty. I find that it, it's just easy. So then I'm gonna apply this one to neutralize this warmness, the first shade in the Seduce Glow. And I'm just gonna apply it all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take a seduce glow this shade beside it just to deepen out um, my outer V. And this gotta be like my signature look, just browns. For my inner corner, I'm just gonna take the highlighter by Charlotte and I'm going to just highlight here. I'm gonna wet the brush a little bit. I need to set all over my face and I'm going to be using Charlotte's airbrush um, setting spray. So let me just finish off with quick wing and um, some lashes and I'll be right back. Alrighty friends, and I finish off the rest of my face with only uh, mascara and I apply some lashes because for some reason lashes just uh, pull everything together and it makes you look extremely dolly and flawless. So these ones are beautiful by Chandelier. These ones are in the style pink diamond and uh, these are 3D make lashes. I do have coupon code if you want to use it. I'll post it here. It's going to expire at the end of this month but these are beautiful they're luxury lashes and they're good for up to 30 uses so i really really love them the band is just extremely easy to just apply and these are so so pretty so anyways i also applied her mask lipstick which is a pinky nudish ash kind of shade it's just like my lips but better this one is in the shade um rose ombre and it is so pretty you guys it is extremely comfortable and beautiful and yeah this is my flawless makeup look Alrighty guys, and that was it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think of these products. Do you like or any of these your holy girl? Which ones are yours? I would love to know. You know me. I love me some complexion. I need to know your favorite packs when you want to feel flawless and beautiful. Thanks so much, you guys, for your love and support. Every single product that I talked about is going to be linked in the description box for your convenience. And I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye.